so I finally reached the section when it's not frozen. And I take my first step, and what do I see? Now I see this rock. Take a look. Protoceros. And might be complete in here. Uh, but the rock is quite big. What do I do? Do I try to break it a bit? Or do I take it and try to prep it at home? Let me think for a second. Let's catch our Ortacera, so maybe there's something else inside, who knows, right? We'll try to put it into the bag and into my backpack. But if it doesn't fit, I will just carry it. <laughs> it did fit, it's gonna be easy. Uh, okay, let's get home now. The terrain is quite rough, everything is uphill. My backpack is crazy heavy right now. Let's get back to the car sooner. Uh, we are home now and I'm working a little bit with a chisel on this big rock with our Vaceras and guess what? That, there's one more. That's the initial one and there's one more. And now I'm getting quite excited, there might be even more. Okay, so that's how this block looks, it's quite big. We have one orthoceroid on one side and yeah, this is the second one. So I will be using the Paleozoic chisel tip as we have a lot of a lot of matrix to remove. And I don't want to rush this piece, I will do it slowly to not damage the fossil. So there we go.
the most consuming part of the prep was close to the end. At the half of the prep the fossil became sticky, meaning the matrix stopped popping off from the fossil, and because of that I damaged the fossil with the engraver in the process. And now, after some consideration, I decided to cut off excess matrix, as the boulder was quite big and I wouldn't even have the space to display it at home. The result was compact matrix with longer orthoceras in it, which will be perfect for my, for my fossil display. Because the fossil was sticky, I used advice from a friend and decided to try and remove last layer with Dremel rotatory tool. It wasn't possible to do with engraver, and putting it into acid would dissolve whole fossil and not just the last layer of the matrix on top of the fossil. Then proceeded to remove scratch marks from engraver around the fossil with the same Dremel stylo, just changed the tip that's more suited for rock. And finally, used soft sandpaper with 2000 and 2500 grit to polish up the surface, after which applied some polishing paste on it, and when paste did dry off, proceeded to cover the fossil with Paraloid B72 varnish for better preservation and glassy surface on the fossil. And so the prep is finally over. Here is the piece. The orthoceras, I'm not sure, it might be endoceras, I will leave a comment. So the prep was quite long, it's probably my longest project. It took me around 15 to 20 hours, I'm not even sure. I did damage it quite, it quite a bit because it was a sticky fossil towards the end. Yeah, these white spots are the, from the engraver marks. But overall it, it turned out quite respectable, it was my first project you know, on such a large scale. I learned a lot, I will show you this one closer, probably right now. And yeah, I did get quite a lot of experience and looking forward for the future preps. And if you did enjoy the video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel because I will do more fossil preps and I've got quite a few ammonites to prep from the red clay sand quarry. And yeah, thanks for watching the video and see you next time!